Hey guys, thanks for tuning into what I hope is going to be a quick episode before I get into the quest stuff. Um, so I just wanted to share some of the updates that I've done to the playground or the, the little test arena that I've got. Uh, originally we had all these blocks here where I could run around and test out um, some of the mechanics of the, the player movement and how the camera works. I wanted to go a step further than that and create some more of the environments that I'm going to actually see in the game. Uh, to do that I've actually, as you can probably see in the background here, I've downloaded another asset. It's a free one for an older version of Unity, um, but you can pretty much copy it in uh, the pro build, uh, the pro tools, so pro builder, um, and I've created what's this uh, giant fortress. Well, actually, I didn't create it; that was already a prefab. But I've put together some of the blocks down here just to show um, some of the different areas that we might go in, and just to test out the way the camera works. So we've got here; we've got this big um, overpass with a hole in it. Um, as you can see, we can run underneath it, and the camera can sort of clip through it. That's fine. Um, then I've also got the stairs here because I wanted to see how the stairs worked. Um, there's a lot of different stairs around. I'm not too happy with the collider on the Sinti ones, they don't work too well. I've also got this little underpass and little bridge that goes over. Um, one tip for when you're trying to do sizes of these things, as you can see here I've got these little square blocks so it makes it a bit easier. Um, if you're actually, the, thin, the width of this bridge that I'm going across now is only just big enough for the player to go across. So that's sort of like a, a, a kind of a dexterity challenge of um, you know, trying to keep on a straight thing, like if you're crossing over a little log or something like that. Um, if you were going to have combat on it, or if you wanted it to be a normal bridge, you'd probably have it at least three widths of the character. So we're looking at pretty much these three blocks here, um, and you can fit one person running one way um, along it, and you could have an enemy running the opposite way, and you could fight them. You wouldn't really have more than one enemy in front of them. Um, but that's just one thing to keep in mind. Anyway, uh, not only that, we've got these little stairs that come down from a platform, like a little half platform. We've got the curved stairs, and we've got these pillars that we can jump on. Um, and I've tested them out because I wanted to see how far along you could jump and at what heights you can go up before it starts getting too difficult or the character controller just can't do it without setting some new values. Um, I can't actually make that jump. I have uh, measured it out. I just didn't do it that time because I'm bad at this. Uh, so I've also got the flat ramp instead of the stairs. Um, but anyway, let's come up and check out what we've got going on up here. As you can see, there's a couple of the V-Bots there from Invector. Um, I've chucked on the beta clones because I wanted to see them fight each other and just throw that out. These are the default ones that come with the uh, beta package. As you can see, I've sort of spread them out here. We've got red and blue that are fighting. And we can see there's a fight between them down here. Looks like they're all ganging up on this poor guy. Oh dear, that doesn't sound too good for him. No, did not end well for him at all. Um, anyway, so as you can see here, we've got some inside areas. We've got some stairs that are going up. We can come through here. Yeah, and you can see we can get on the top here. We can come down these stairs. Now this roof here uh, isn't clipping. I think it's because I've got it set to floor maybe. So I don't have it set in my clipping plane for the camera, whereas these walls I do. So the camera will bounce along the walls and zoom into my character to keep out of it. Um, I've also got this here, so these are like cool little blocks that come with it, it just reminds me of uh, Assassin's Creed Black Flag really. Um, but I can duck, duck behind them so I can just sort of see what it's like having little objects um, in the thing. Again this is all prefab stuff that came with the, the package that I'm using. Um, I'm just going to dodge here so you can see what do we see when we look around um, walls. If I zoom in, I uh, can't really change that, that's fine. Um, and now if I come here, these barricades are also pretty cool. We have the barricades that you can jump over down there, but I like these ones because you can actually, I can fit and crawl behind them. And the way that they're set up along this pathway, if you have a, a, an AI walking between them um, that can only see or hear you if you're within the line of sight, well these things can actually block the line of sight because of the colliders on them. So you could have this as a, a kind of stealth mechanic um, where you do have to sneak around a guard or something instead of taking them out. So yeah, that's just some of the, the cool stuff there. Um, we'll go into this building and see what we can see. We'll drop down here. You can see we've got the little platform thing and we're, again, we're underneath the big structure. So what does that look like when we're playing in the game with a camera? Um, another one as well is to check out the angles of the big um, areas up the top where there might be a baddie standing. Can I aim up there? Yeah, I, should, I reckon I should be able to aim up there if I had the staff equipped. Um, I took it off this player prefab because uh, I was doing some stuff that I'm gonna showcase in the, the next, um, uh, next Oh, he's put away his sword and he's punching. That's interesting. And he's drawn it. 
That's interesting. I didn't know they did that. They switched weapons. That's pretty cool. Um, all right. So, yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted for this. Um, yeah, the reason I've set it up is just because I wanted a little bit more of um, playing around with uh, how the character moves in an environment that's a, a little more uh, more like what I would have in the, the full game. Anyway, um, hopefully that doesn't uh, come out to be too long a video. Uh, I'm about to now start um, re-recording the, uh, the new um, episode, which will have uh, the quest elements added to it from the RPG pack. I would also like to point out too at this time, uh, the Evil A has released uh, on his YouTube channel a new updated tutorial series for setting up the latest pack. Um, it's pretty good. It goes through all of the stuff that you need and it works with um, Unity 2018 as well. So um, I I'll add the description, sorry, I'll add the link in the description below. Um, I suggest you do check it out uh, and then come back. I'm going to be pretty much copying the same stuff that's in there anyway, but it's always good to have um, two different points on there so you can see that it does work um, for more than just the developer himself. Um, and yeah, hopefully between us you can um, get a bit of good guidance if you're having troubles and things like that. Anyway, thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next episode.